I don't know y'all this might this might replace my Sephora powder. I don't know. Hey guys, what's up? Welcome back. So I am just in the mood to do my makeup, but I want to use a new setting powder today and just kind of give it a wear test. The Urban Decay All Nighter Loose Setting Powder is what we're doing today. If you know, you know. I am the biggest fan of their pressed translucent setting powder. And I'll show y'all. This was all that I used to use every time I would set my concealer. So I want to know if this loose one is any, you know, if it's as good as the press one. So that's what we're doing today. Nothing, you know, over the top. I just want to quickly do my face and test this powder out. And I'm using my Lawless Plumping Gloss. I'm almost out of this stuff too. It's really good. It doesn't tingle the lips either. It just feels really cold on the lips. Um, now, since I'm using a new setting powder today, I don't want to really switch up my makeup routine. So I'm going to use pretty much the same products I've been using. And yeah, I want to do a updated, um, I'm putting on my SPF, but yeah, I want to do an updated basic everyday makeup routine. So I'll probably be filming that pretty soon. Because I have, well, I haven't really switched up what I've been using recently, obviously, but I haven't done one on my channel in a good minute. And I think I'm going to do that for you guys. But yeah, um, primer, I've been using the Fenty Mattifying Primer. I'm really trying to empty this out because I've been holding on to it for a good minute. But yeah, I got this setting powder from Sephora. <laughs> Y'all, so I was online shopping on Sephora and I got this like a few weeks ago. It was one night where I just couldn't go to sleep. Like I couldn't fall asleep. <laughs> so I ended up placing an order on Sephora and this was one of the products that I purchased. So ever since then, I got this setting powder uh, week before last and it's just been sitting <laughs> it's just been sitting in my drawer so we are gonna test it out today all right I have been really liking the Bright Fix from Fenty Beauty. I use the shade Almond Butter and I just take a little bit of it and I go under my eyes like this. I did an entire review on this already if y'all missed it. But I take it before I even go in with my foundation. I just tap it in with my fingers under my eyes and I also bring it on my lid. Now, I will say this is thinner than a regular concealer. Because I know some people under that video, they were like, they don't understand why they would bring out another concealer when they already had a concealer. But this is actually, like the formula of this is way thinner than their Pro Filter Concealer. And it's supposed to give you more of a, bright, um, a brighter look. So if you don't want to put on too much makeup that day or even if you don't want to wear makeup at all you can just put this on under your eyes just to kind of brighten it up i like to put it on my lids as well but you honestly don't have to do that you can just take it under your eyes just like this but yeah i already did a review on this if y'all want to watch it but i have been doing this a lot recently every time i do my makeup i go in with this and I've also been wearing it, like if I'm going anywhere um, to run an errand or two, I'll just put this on the eyes and then do my brows and that's it. Because, I mean, I'm out wearing a, a mask anyway. Um, foundation and the other concealer, I'm using the same products. <laughs> the same products I have been using a lot 
recently because they have been working for me and they're definitely long wearing. I'm gonna have all the products I'm using in the description down below. So you guys can check that out. Since we're really just talking about the setting powder today. Ooh, I think I wanna do something cute with the eyes today. So we will go more in depth with the eyeshadow once we get to that part. But right now I'm trying to just put my base on really quick. All right. Put on some concealer. I'm almost out of this again. It's my favorite drugstore. It's the e.l.f. Camo CC Cream. And this is my second tube, girl. And I'm almost out of this one. <laughs> All right, let me pull this up because I had it pulled up on my phone because I want to look at it. Okay, so the um, Urban Decay All Nighter setting, the press one is $34 and the loose one is $29. So it's a lightweight vegan face powder with a softening translucent matte finish that sets makeup, smooth skin, minimizes shine all day long. So we're going to do a little wear test. Did I tell y'all that earlier? We're going to do a little mini wear test. Right now it's 10, 17 in the morning. Um, so, yeah, this is how she looks. I need to go ahead and put it on before my concealer starts creasing. Um, so, there's that. And, oh, it has, I love, love, love when setting powders have these type of packets. Like, it has, like, a little mesh right there. Let me show you. Let me open it. Some people don't like this, but I love it. So it's like a little net right there. You just press the brush in it. And the top has a little stopper in it. So that way, once you close it, not a lot of the product, well, it won't get too messy because some tops don't have that. And once you open up the setting powder, like it goes flying everywhere. So look at that. Like there's not, okay. I am liking that so far. So let me tap my concealer in again to make sure that it's not gonna crease up before I put on my setting powder. I'm gonna take my sponge and press it in and then put it on. There is no scent. Ooh, this is really, really, soft and fine really really soft and I like when setting powders are like that I don't like when they're kind of gritty because it kind of makes it hard to blend into the skin but wow this is nice 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 And it's definitely translucent. You can see that. It didn't really, I mean, it kind of gave me a little bit of brightness, but honestly, I can put this all over my face because there's no, like, it doesn't look white on my skin. It just looked like I set my concealer with, I mean, it is a translucent powder. I was about to say with a translucent, but it is a translucent powder. <laughs> but it doesn't look too white because some translucent powders, they do look like it makes it look lighter right there, but this is looking really natural. Almost like I don't have any powder on. And it's definitely giving me that soft airbrush, kind of like face tuned look, just like the press one did. So yeah, I'm definitely seeing that as well. Okay. Look how it just melts into the skin. I don't know y'all, this might, this might replace my Sephora powder. I don't know. We need to see how it's gonna look by the end of today though. So I don't wanna speak too soon. <laughs> but yeah, their pressed powder is really nice. So this is definitely kinda giving me the same thing. It's just, it's, it's just a loose powder. I flipped my sponge around so I can kinda blend that concealer back in cause it is starting to crease on my eyes before I set it. Now I'm gonna take the other side and then set my lids. 
So yeah, right now, based off of my first impression on this powder, um, I feel like those who like pressed powders can get this in their pressed powder formula. And those who like loose powders can get this in the loose powder. Like, does that make sense? Am I making any sense? <laughs> you know what? Since we are testing this out today, let's just put it all over the face. Cause why not? I was gonna take my Dior powder and set everywhere else, but why not just put this all over since we're doing a full test today? Um, I don't wanna put too much on. I just need to set up here. And then over here. And just like with the pressed powder, this one is pretty matte. I mean, you can really see it now that I have it all over. But it doesn't feel uncomfortable on the skin. It feels really airy and light. So it's really comfortable. All right. Entire face is set. Look, girl, look at this. Look at this. There's not many translucent powders in my collection that I can use all over my face and it not look ashy. This, it just looks like I have on a matte foundation. It looks good. Okay, so let me do my other stuff and then we're gonna play with the eyeshadow. The eyeshadow that I pulled out, actually no, I wanted to try this out today. This is the Milani all-inclusive eye cheek and face palette so this is how she looks on the inside so it has a bronzer highly doubt this bronzer will look good on me but we'll try it we'll try it. let me take the plastic off there we go so you have a bronzer you have a highlighter the middle shades are eyeshadows blush and then what is this blush so i would use that as a blush topper because it's pretty shimmery but let's try the bronzer really quick. It looks like it ain't gonna show, but we're gonna try it. Let me use this little Sonia Kashuk brush to, let's just try it. Cause I was gonna use my Danessa Myricks bronzer today, but might as well try this one, right? Let's see. Cause it does say all inclusive. Let's see. I mean, it's there. It's there. Let me see if I can build it. Okay. So you can build it up, but honestly, this color, I would use it as a blush. It's not doing what I really want it to do. So I'm gonna do the same thing on this side so that way it can match. And then we're just gonna use my other bronzer that I've been using. It's cute though, but you. You definitely have to build it up so it can really show <laughs> but it's cute i mean it's cute yeah it's cute but i'm going to pull out danessa and put her all over this has become my summer bronzer like i'm gonna use this thing all summer And then taking a little bit more of the Urban Decay and putting it on the nose. So let's play with the eyeshadows in the Milani palette because I thought I pulled out other eyeshadows. Oh, I did, I did, I did, I did. Danessa Myricks Cream Shadow. You can use this on your lips or your cheeks, but since it's black, obviously I'm gonna put it on my eyes. I wanna do a smoky rose gold look today really smoky so that's what we're doing i'm gonna take a little bit of the danessa myricks black now you only need this much this is probably more than enough and i'm gonna use my finger for this literally the best cream shadow y'all the best cream shadow i'm gonna tap it on the outer corner of my eye I'm gonna take my Sigma Beauty Tapered Blending Brush and just kind of blend out that shadow. Now I'm gonna take that darker shadow, this color right here, and go 
kind of on top of the black because I wanted this to be really, really deep. And I feel like once you lay down a black base, whatever you put on top is deeper. Like, look at that. Well, that was my plan. <laughs> that was my plan. So just like that. Y'all can't tell me that don't look good. Okay, let me use a different brush. Let's use my Morphe M504. Is this one clean? I should have did this first, but let me just go ahead and do it now. Let's go with this color right here. I think this would have made a good, it looks light, like super light right there, but it's not that light. I think this would have made a good um, transition shade. Well, maybe it is light. Ooh. Let me see. I'm going to put it in the crease. Like right above right here so I can blend out those edges. Eh, it's not that light. Okay. I mean, it's barely there, but that's what I want because I just really want something to blend out and smooth out those edges. So... Just like that. Now the star of the show is gonna be the middle shade right here. This looks just like the NARS Orgasm Blush. Actually, no, it looks darker than the, the Orgasm Blush. It's a pretty rose gold. You can see some orange in it too. It's really pretty. But I'm gonna take my finger and put it, ooh, ooh, that is pretty. I'm gonna put it right on the lid where I didn't put any eyeshadow, just right there. I'm picking up this double-sided KKW blending brush. I'm taking the smaller side and going into that middle shade once again, and kind of going back over where I placed it with my finger, and also kind of um, blending out those edges too with it so it won't look crazy. I haven't done a highlighted inner corner in a while, so I'm gonna take the highlighter in here and using that little brush from KKW, still sticking with it, and I'm placing it right on the inner corner right there to get give it that extra pop. All right, cute. Now let me do the rest. I will put on some mascara, put my false lashes on, and I will be right back. All right, this is the eyes. They came out so good. I'm obsessed. It's so pretty. I'm happy. So let's take this powder off. Um, I want to put on a little blush. Dang. Ooh, I do have a new blush. We're going to try this. The ColourPop Blush Palette. Well, the cheek palettes. I have tea cakes and sweet roll. I want to do, let's do sweet cakes. Let's do this color right here, down here. I think it'll be cute. Ooh, I don't have a clean brush. Uh, let's just use this one. Sigma contour and blush brush. I'm just going to tap it on the cheek. It's cute. I like, I like, I like. Mmm, cute. I haven't used powder blush in a minute because I've been so hooked to cream blushes, but she's cute. Okay, oh, I forgot to fix my brows. I like to fade them right here with my little spoolie. Face is looking so cute. I am loving. I'm gonna spray my face before I do my lips. I'm gonna use my Tata Luminous Dewy Mist if I have, like I barely have any left. But we need to spray the face. And this is, oh girl, I'm almost out. I've been using this by itself instead of like using another setting spray because I used to use two different setting sprays, but I know I'm going heavy with it, but I have been loving a glow, y'all. Like having that just natural glow, I'm tapping it in with my sponge a little bit because as y'all can see, I kind of went heavy with it. 
but just having that really pretty glow to the skin has been my jam. Okay, y'all, I pulled out an oldie but goodie. This is the Buxom Gloss in the shade Dolly. I haven't used this thing in years. It's a new one, but I haven't used this shade in forever. And that's this is the color I've been really into lately. Let me know if you guys wanna see a, um, like my top favorite pinky lips for the summer. And I'll definitely do that for you guys. I'm just lining my lips a little bit with the MAC Court lip liner. But yeah, a pink lip has been my jam, y'all. It has been my jam. A soft pink lip, not like a, a bright bubblegum pink lip, but just a soft, natural pink lip. I have been la la loving. Okay, now taking Buxom. Yeah, I haven't used this color in years, y'all. I think this was my first Buxom gloss, like the shade Dolly. And I like how these glosses feel on the lips. They feel really cold instead of feeling like you have a ton of needles pricking your lips. This just feels really cold and soothing. I like it. All right, guys, we're done. This is how it looks. And I think I did good. I think I did really good. So um, let me go about my day because I really want to see how this setting powder is going to look later this evening. So I'll do a little quick check in with you guys later on so y'all can see. But right now, I'm really, really, really liking the setting powder. I love how it makes my skin look soft and airbrushed and face tuned and just it just looks good. So, um, and I also love the fact that I was able to put it on all over the face without it looking ashy. So, but yeah, let me do what I need to do today. I'll probably squeeze in two more videos to film since my face is already done, but um, I will check back in later on this evening. Hey guys, so I'm in the middle of vlogging and I wanted to do like a little intro on my vlog where my face is cute because I barely come on the vlogs with makeup on. So um, since I'm here, I wanna do a little quick check-in so y'all can see my face. It's 4.34 right now. Um, and I wanted to come right here in front of my window cause I did not do a natural light earlier. But before I check back in later on this evening, I want you guys to see how the face, hold on, let me turn the brightness down a little bit. Girl, it looks so pretty outside today but this is how everything looks. It looks, it still looks good, y'all. It still looks good. The makeup is holding up. Um, I mean, that's not anything surprising to me because the foundations I've been wearing have been, they've been pretty good. But as far as the under eye, it still looks really good. T-zone still looks good. And it was like 11 something this morning um, when I started. But I'm going to give this maybe another hour or two, maybe. Because, um, I mean, the face, I feel like it's going to look about the same <laughs> um, when I check back in within the, within the next hour or so. But just to give it some more wear time, I'll go ahead and check back in with you guys um, within the next couple hours. But right now... Everything is holding up. It looks good. So yeah, I'll see y'all later on. All right, so I decided to keep it on for a little bit longer. I went ahead and cooked dinner um, just to give me more wear time on the face. Uh, let me see, 6.47 is the time right now. I really want y'all to see my under eyes. I hope, I know the lighting is kind of weird right now, but I hope y'all can really see. And it definitely held up just like the uh, the press one does. So, yeah, if you, I mean, obviously they cost, like, the loose setting powder is less than the pressed, but it all depends on your preference. If you prefer the pressed setting powder, then, of course, you would obviously like this one. Or if you prefer a loose setting powder, then you will definitely like the loose. Um like I said in the video, it does um, give you a matte finish, but it doesn't feel dry on the face and it's gonna give you that really soft blurred look. So, um, and obviously it, you can see that it holds up pretty good throughout the day. But yeah, I think that is all that I have to update you guys on. I really like it. Um, like I said, it all boils down to your preference. 
do you prefer a loose or do you prefer a pressed powder honestly i rather have a pressed powder because they're not like they're not messy loose powders it just goes flying everywhere but this one i really like how they packaged it because when you open it up the powder just like this little thing right here in the top it allows the powder to stay in place so i like that but um which one do i prefer because i know some of you're gonna ask <laughs> um since i prefer a pressed powder obviously i prefer the this one right here even though it does cost a little bit more but I just like me a pressed powder because it's not too messy but anyway i hope this video was helpful um let me know if you guys have tried out this powder do you like it what are your thoughts on it let's talk about it down below in the comments but yes that is it also if i use anything on the face that you guys have already tried out what are your thoughts on the products as well so let's talk about that down below in the comments but that is it you guys i hope y'all enjoyed if you did give me a huge thumbs up make sure you are subscribed if you're not subscribed already and i'll see you guys in my next one bye